Without national data, it was hard for the Filipino community to make sense of the number of deaths they were seeing. For the past year, Grace Rugliano and a team of volunteers have been meticulously collecting photographs and stories for an online memorial called Kanlungan. Nurses don't want to be called heroes. They want to have support. They want to have PPE. I think the hardest part is really knowing that a lot of your colleagues and, and your community members are not surviving or are not doing well or are getting sick. The union National Nurses United is one of the few organizations tracking the number of nurses' deaths. Filipinos make up an estimated 4% of the nursing population, but 26% of nurses' deaths due to COVID-19 and related complications. We talk about health disparities for our patients. It's very different and scary to talk about the health disparities amongst our co-workers. Of all the nurses of color who have died from COVID-19 in the U.S., Filipino nurses make up by far the largest share. The conversation is only happening amongst the Filipino community. It wasn't happening amongst healthcare workers at large. Behind the statistics are real people. It puts faces on the numbers. We've heard, you know, just a lot of um, gratefulness that their family member's name is memorialized somewhere and that somebody's talking about that sacrifice. Filipino nurses tend to work in 24-7 inpatient care settings with high stress and long work hours like the ICUs. And because there are a lot of Filipino immigrant nurses, some are less likely to complain or feel like they can't speak up when faced with stressful or dangerous work environments. Nurse Rosa Morton felt like their stories, especially about immigrant nurses, weren't being captured. There are uh, more to it than the statistics, more to it than the jobs. And like these are these are migrants who are who have ups and downs in their lives. So she took photographs of their work and homes, a snapshot of their lives. But the job can be exhausting. And we are getting tired again, not just physically. We're getting tired emotionally and morally. For Newsy, I'm Kat Sandoval.